Did you know you can completely redesign your house using Nano Banana? And in one click, you can do this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. I'm gonna do this for an exterior, interior living room, and renovating this ugly kitchen. So let's get started. So here I'm using the Nano Banana plugin for Photoshop. And I've got a house, you know, I just grabbed a random house off of Zillow. And this is basically the, the issue is like no house will ever be perfect for you, right? But you're going to want to do some design changes. So using Nano, you can basically tell it exactly what you want. And it'll be able to renovate it for you. So all we have to do is select everything on our canvas. And I'm going to basically drop in a prompt. And I'm going to put the prompt on screen so you can see exactly what it is of the things we want to change. Because... As an architect, I'm kind of leaning more towards a contemporary look. You know, I want to get rid of this. I want to, you know, change the color of this blue. I think it's a little weird. Black windows are always fun. And I feel like we need a little bit of, of landscaping because it's a little plain here. Oh, and this driveway, that's got to get cleaned up. So now that I've basically explained all that in a prompt and I've dropped it in, I'm going to go and hit submit and I'm going to be using four variations. That way it gives me four different design options. And this is great for ideation. So after hitting submit, I'm going to get these four layers and here we go. So this prompt is basically all about modernizing it, adding the black windows, changing the materials, lime washing the brick, as well as making it a golden hour with some landscaping. So as we can see here, we've got the black everywhere. Did a great job here. It made the siding white. It did neglect the uh, the brick lime wash, but it did do it here. So that was kind of interesting. It also updated the portico for us, which was also part of the prompt. So overall, it looks pretty good. We've got the landscaping here. It's giving me ideas. And I feel like if you're you're a homeowner or a designer and like you want to just spruce up you know, your place of living, this could be a pretty easy way to just figure this out. You know, traditionally, I'd have to 3D model my space, do all the materials, and it could take a lot of time. So here are some other options. You know, I think this is looking... You know, this is like a blend in my opinion. It didn't lime wash the bottom, but again, I gave it like 10 different things to kind of work with. So it was interesting to see that it did most of everything except handling this lower region. You know, if I were to go through all the options real quick, you'll see that it kind of struggled with that. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't, but for every single option, it did nail the windows, as you can see here. Windows are done and the portico is done and landscaping. So. Really interesting there. So now let's try it out on an interior living room. So here we go. This simple plain room. And the idea is, you know, I want it to feel a little, I want it to feel cozy, a little boho, a little Scandinavian. You know, I want a bunch of colors, plants and all that. So I'm going to transform that into a prompt. And then I'm going to drop that in to my plugin. And we're going to display the prompt on screen so you can see exactly what it is. But it's all about having, you know, nice fabrics, rugs, patterns, you know, so it doesn't feel bland. So here's our first option. As you can see, it did like a fantastic job laying out the room. Like it even added hooks for the plants, which I thought was brilliant. The lamps make sense. We got a coffee table, really nice rug, and it even added like the ruffles in the rug, which is great. But like it all makes sense. The color palette looks good. Like it's using this really nice, you know, like kind of rat in look for the chairs, the pillows, all kind of blend. So really good job on the first option. Let's see the second option. Also really good. And I do like that they start to move the furniture locations slightly. So they're swapping out pieces here. So this I would say is actually the weakest option. But what's nice is like in a minute, we were able to kind of decide, okay, where does the credenza go? Where does the sofa go? Which is pretty handy. So if it were up to me, I'd probably go with either this one or this one, but curious what you guys think. But I love like the hominess, the decor and everything. Like it does look lived in. And again, this took no time at all. The old fashioned way, this is like a 10 hour job. So. It's, it's kind of crazy that like virtual staging is pretty much done for, which I feel like it's it's been for a bit, but I think it's great for anyone that just, you know, you're moving into a new space, you want to visualize what that would look like. And I feel like that's really, really challenging, but overall amazing job. And if you didn't see this, there's a little reflection here of the lamp, which is actually perfect. Like, I don't know, it's, it's, getting, it's getting pretty good. And even at an outlet there, so crazy. Let's talk about kitchen renovations. So 
kitchens. A little fun fact, but uh, you know, we used to say in an office of mine is like just looking at a kitchen is going to cost you fifty grand. It's it's just like such a very, it's a very expensive renovation. So you want to make sure you're doing it right. It could be time intensive, cost intensive. So what happens, at least in in New York, is like we have all these homes like built in 1920s, 1940s, and the 80s, and it just has this like really dated look. So this is a great way to just kind of like, you know, if you want to keep some appliances, you can, you can update it. So I'm going to grab my prompt and drop that in and we'll share that as well. So you can see exactly what it is. And what's nice about this is you can actually specify finishes for like fixtures and things. So, you know, we were saying light oak cabinets, quartzite countertops and vertical white tile. So let's see the first option. So here we go. So we get that vertical white tile, right? It kept the fixtures, which is actually really, really nice because if you don't want to buy new appliances, well, there you go. But I did say in the prompt, I did want them replaced. So it didn't listen there, but I do appreciate the effort. But really interesting to see the addition of shelves here. Like that's a creative idea. You know, I do like the, uh, the tile being brought in here as well as just like the new countertop. Like I'll just do a little toggle. So you can see like this really cheap countertop. I mean, that's, it's crazy. And it updated the floor. So again, really nice to see what it would look like. So here's another option. This is just replacing the upper cabinets with shelving, which I think is a fun look, adding some nice lights. Here, basically no shelving or upper cabinets and adding lights. And here, I feel like it just added some shelves here and changed the backsplash. So kind of interesting that sometimes it listens, sometimes it doesn't, but I think that's kind of the beauty of the variations here. Like you could generate up to seven and Again, this is this is just like a no-brainer. So if you're like in this process and like you are thinking about a remodel or renovation, you know, do what I did on the exterior where I just thought about like, hey, what are the things I want to change? Make a list of that and then just turn it into a prompt. You don't need anything crazy. It could be really short sentences. You, you know, you see my prompt here. It's not like that long. It's just like a list of all the things I want changed. And it does a pretty good job hitting it. I'd say like 80% of the prompt, it does nail. Sure, it misses some things, but again, that's where the options come in. You can kind of, you know, fill in the blanks. You also get a free layer baked in. So if you like some things, but you don't like others, you can just go and just mask it out. So, you know, let's, let's just say I, I, I just want, I don't know, a white window here. You know, I'm just painting that out. Obviously we wouldn't do that, but that's my point. Like you've got the layering, um, this plugin is getting, you know, better and better. Nano Banana is looking super promising for the world of like design and architecture. So I wanted to share these, these typical use cases that I'm seeing. So if you have any questions about this workflow, you know, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you. And as always consider liking and subscribing to the channel. See you next time.